So uh, Libra, let's continue your reading. Thank you for your purchase. Let's continue your reading. So yes, like I said, you know, you're surprised and you're pleasantly surprised by just how this person is showing up for you. Uh, and, and with that comes, but also <laughs> uh, there is this person that is walking away from something, maybe cutting ties even with someone who is being a bit controlling in their life. Not sure who that is, but we've got a queen of, of swords energy. Could be one person, could be a few different people could be a village of people, but um, it's the energy of, of someone. So you guys, yeah, so this there is this queen of, uh, we've got the uh, king of pentacles, which matches that queen of pentacles. So this is more about now you, what's coming into your awareness of you're now in a place where you're happy with your relationship. You know, you're happy with the person that you're choosing to build and continue to build with. Um, there is confusion there though, because, uh, and I say confusion there, and it's not a depressing type of confusion. This is more about what's going on for you here, what's being discovered. Remember I spoke about the chemistry, the feelings that's coming up that you're not sharing with this person. There's confusion around that because we do have the lover's card again, but we also have the high priestess. The high priestess sometimes represent a soulmate type of energy, you know, so it's like, is this my person? You know, the feelings that are coming up for you is making you think in that way. Is this my person? And that's where that confusion is coming from, which causes you to want to process things. Move ahead, surely, though, with that, that, let me just pull on that. Yeah, as I say that, move ahead, surely. And I've got the, the chariot card, yeah. So continue to move ahead with this positively, passionately, but processing what's coming up for you in terms of just your feelings about who this person could possibly be for you. Are they the one? Are they your soulmate? For some of you, quote unquote, twin flames, if you believe in that type of thing. You know, I feel like this person is really showing up for you in ways that is, you know, deep. It's deep. It's deep. I feel like this person is catering to needs within you that is possibly healing wounds, you know. So... Um, and there's work, they're too, they're, it's like they're consciously, you know, working. Uh, this could be working financially to kind of contribute to maybe buying a house with you, but with you, you know, moving this forward, um, working on the relationship, working on something. There's something they're not sure about, or they're not even so much not sure about. This is more about making a choice. But two of pentacles there. So that talks about making a choice. Um wanting things to turn around it's like things are turning around but they want things to really you know turn around and they want to do it quickly as well they're going to want to do it quickly you know the intention is to heal men think i don't feel like this person what you guys have gone through maybe for some of you it has um fractured this relationship in any way so i'm not sure what the star card is that representing really in, in its entirety but definitely there is this working on um maybe this person is feeling like it's not where it should be it really isn't yeah that's yeah, yeah that's what it is it's just putting in the work bringing it into a place of i want to say balance um you know where there's it's not being affected by these negative energies that you guys have gone through or have experienced so this is really about just it kind of continuing. Oops, let me grab that. Continuing your journey with one another, really, but in a in a in a more lighter way, because there's there's going to be the the lack of external influences that was putting some heavy energy or pressure. What am I doing? Have I got water water fingers? Uh, one second, guys. <laughs> there we go. Um. Yeah, without any heavy energies, and that way you guys can embrace uh, this a lot more. Just You just move into a lighter space. It becomes a lot more lighter. So this is your love oracle message. Um, so we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, and that may be speaking to where you're moving to with this confusion. Um, for some of you, you might experience the need to want to know, to have answers. Um, and then there comes that pressure that you put on yourself or this person. 
you know so if that comes up for you just kind of release let go uh, all in divine timing what would be will be answers will come exactly when they're meant to how they're meant to as well um, so yes we have the overall energy oracle message we've got the temple path so receiving this card it represents your own spiritual evolution the winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime so it's also here to tell you that what you're going through now is all a part of your soul's process you are you are on your karmic and, and you're on your karmic path and heading in the right direction and the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons so the lights around your temple represent the spirit world your family members and friends and angels and guides all the loving helpers uh, who long to assist you call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration this is also a wonderful life expanding time so keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection following your highest intentions will help you move uh, your life forward in dramatic ways connecting with spirit and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience so take that as it resonates guys that's a powerful message there um, for you um, yeah hopefully this has gave you given you some form of guidance some insight uh, have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week